What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the new legendary Capri robot. Look how amazing the new skin looks. And also, we have Mizaki and Ponchi, the new legendary pilots, that make it so that during the entire ability run, for about 15 seconds, there's complete immunity to freeze, suppression, and lockdown. And that's insane, because what it means, it means you don't need anti-control. So you free up a passive module slot in the robot. And the Capri itself doesn't need active module healing so you have an active module ready for something else too it's insane let me show over the course of this video what an insane beast this is um, and also uh, we have the currently the giveaway still going on 200 Heimdall Titan robots uh, guys you don't want to miss out on that giveaway if you haven't yet participated in that top right corner all the links in the video description pinned comment for you direct link to that giveaway make sure to use it because uh, the giveaway is going to end very soon and you have the chance still to participate now you see right here i'm running the uh, shield breaker why because i'm a capri robot with 500 something thousand hp there's other Capris in this match too, uh, so we boost each other. We're never going to have a problem with too little health. We're gonna heal each other up to maximum gray HP all the time. Anyways, so I have no need for an active healing module. That means I can actually free up the module and use Shield Breaker. Or I could use a a Quantum Radar to be able to, well, just break through enemy Orochis, no problem, right? And also, by the way, we're not alone here. You see there's another Capri right there. And we have AD Gaming with us as well. Greetings to you, friend. Uh, he's also rocking a Capri. So we're triple boosting each other right here, which is just insane. Uh, this super powerful Revenant right there is, is he's really used to beating whatever he jumps on gets destroyed, right? That's how it normally is for him. I'm sure of it because I have this thing myself and I know how it plays, right? You jump on someone. The, the guy who jump on dies, no problem. Uh, but in this case, with this many Capris, triple quadro boosting each other, uh, having so much resistance and health, being able to bypass shields and dropping enemy, uh, for example, uh, Demeters there, no problem. I've lost a lot of health already due to the focus from this uh, from this guy with his Revenant, but overall, I'm still in pretty good shape with 300,000 HP and I have all my weapons, full firepower ready, right? So. Shield Breaker is running again, I can right ha hammer right in there and hit them all with these weapons so well. Curving around the corners and dropping them one by one, bam bam bam, and AD and I, we're just gonna, uh, we're just gonna stand here and uh, boost each other, you know, it's just crazy. And remember, again, due to Mizaki and Ponchi, the legendary pilots, uh, you don't need anti-control either, so you can really just go ahead and just equip an extra module instead of anti-control, which could be balanced unit for more damage output and more HP. You could have um, you could have a second nuclear amplifier if you want, because that you that way you can reach the maximum stack and damage boost amount faster. You know, you could I don't know. There's so many ways to, to use this additional uh, freed up slot for something useful other than having to put an anti-control in there because you don't need that anymore, right? So, really crazy powerful. We now did, did reach the highest uh, stack amount on the amplifier, um, on the nuclear amplifier. Now, I'm boosting him, he's boosting me, and uh, we're breaking through the physical shields on this guy. I'm even standing close to him now because, um, yeah, uh, I can uh, bypass the shield better. Now, I'm hiding here behind the little corner because the Capri isn't a very large robot. You can use this thing to hide very well. And now he's gonna be dead. Boots, that's it. He didn't even get to, get, get to capture the beacon. You see, AD and I were both relatively low on health with the maximum amount, but now, see, I can shield break. Although, I guess his shield was already gone anyways, but I could have shield broken him and could have killed the Typhon robot without having to worry about uh, his shield at all because, well, active module is free for something else, you know? And ladies and gentlemen, if you like the content, you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you want to stay tuned on all the giveaways, for example, the Titan giveaway with the Heimdall or any other future giveaway, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Uh, I would really appreciate this, ladies and gentlemen, um, and it will get you notified also when all, any of the other, um, you know, giveaways would be coming up. Now, eventually, we're now really reaching a point here in the match where, despite all the resistance and healing, we are going to lose our Capris. I'm starting to lose my first weapon now, and, um, you know, we're all relatively low on health now, or very low on health, in fact. Um, and that is all because of, um, of the fact that we have been surviving for so long. You do take a couple of hits here and there, and eventually it just wears you down, right, to the gray HP. Uh, which is insane. Imagine we've had a Mender, for example, coming in, 
and keeping on, uh, us at our max HP, right? Amender jumping in and raising the gray maxed out area HP uh, to, to, to full so we can restore the entirety of the robots all the way. We would literally be unstoppable then. This would be so crazy. That's what the Mender does so well with a new legendary pilot. It's such a beast. I should, that reminds me, I should probably equip one and put it in my own hangar too. And I finally died. Yay! After such a long time. So jumping into the Sharenga here. Also, uh, a video is going to come up, ladies and gentlemen. Very soon where, uh, where I'll be using and uh, making a comparison. Uh, well, actually, wait a minute. The video with the comparison could be coming up. Or it could already be out. Uh, out. All right. You know what? Forget what I just said. It, there's a chance that the video is already released. Uh, I don't know in which order I will release the videos. But uh, what my plan is to release a video right now um, with uh, Sharenga uh, Dazzler versus Sharenga um, with uh, the striker, the sniper shotgun, the, the shock train basically for titans, right? Uh, the sniper v weapon there uh, with an instant hit at 800 meters range. And that's what I'm going to be doing, uh, making a comparison video. And uh, the, I think that I think by the time you see this video here, I think the comparison... Uh, no, I think it would be coming out earlier. Yeah, so it should be out already. Maybe I'll link it to the top right corner for you as well if that is the case, okay? So I'm getting confused here um, myself why, why, when I do release certain videos. <laughs> I have things in my mind and uh, I have to do them right. Alright, boom. There goes a, uh, an Orochi. Apparently he didn't have any further stealth abilities anymore. Uh, we have an enemy, Ao Ming. I know who's, how he's going to die. We all know how, right? If you guys watched my last live stream, I'm, I like singing this one. Hold on. Let's go for uh, the ref here. The ref is coming in. Uh, let's make him... <laughs> and he's blinded by the light. <laughs> it's so funny, man. These weapons blind you because uh, they're so bright. And then basically what you do, you, you they can't shoot you anymore. It's so crazy. Here, there's the enemy um, movements. And he's blinded by the light. And here is also the Revenant in front of me. And you know how we're going to kill the enemy Titan any moment right, uh, right now. Hold on. I'm actually keep firing through his last stand because we can't break through his last stand with these weapons. They ignore the last stand resistance. Because uh, they're Titan weapons, Alpha weapons, big ones. Uh, he's gonna get that shield one more time. Then he's gonna be blinded by the light. <laughs> and then we kill him. Yes! Here comes the enemy... Sh uh, what's it called? The enemy... Uh, Ao Ming is coming in, but now he is blinded by the light. <laughs> and he's dead. That's it! Boom! Sh uh, what's it called here? Uh, not movements. Um... Aug Ming didn't stand a chance. Also, this guy blinded now. He can't fire at us. His his other two weapons on the sides are basically just, um, uh, you know, cinder weapons. They don't really do much. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so, nice. We did 7 million damage, 12 kills, 1 beacon cap, and we were all boosting each other like crazy with uh, these Kepri robots. And the enemy had some pretty powerful players, too. I know those guys. Attila, I've seen him plenty of times in matches. So... Yeah, let's jump into match numero, numero duo um, and um, yeah, do something with our Capri. And uh, one thing that I noticed all the time is that I, I failed at getting the connection. Look, I want to I wanna establish a link to somebody and I, I uh, yeah, I, I didn't get, it, get, it, get to do it. Here, uh, not, this guy's in stealth. Okay, this guy, finally I managed to establish a link, but... Uh, at first, it, it turned out to be quite difficult. Maybe we see this again in a, in a different uh, situation. Um, when somebody enters stealth of your team, you can target him. So you cannot actually uh, start the chain and link to support him, you know? And th that means you can also not really support yourself because uh, you, you kind of want to also establish the link to somebody else to do the f full effect. Uh, on the Kepri robot, right? That's when you get the most out of the Kepri if you have somebody else benefiting from the link. So if you don't get the link established, you did use the cooldown, however. So sometimes I just abort the cooldown, abort the ability, and then recharge really quickly the six seconds and then start it again. Here, this guy, he's now getting the chain. And uh, despite there's a behemoth right there with uh, powerful uh, weapons uh, with a Smuta, yeah. There's a Smuta behemoth right there. And, um... Yeah, I'm having him uh, locked, I think. The chain was established until now. The guy from the Weed Clan right there uh, was benefiting 
Yeah, his he's from the weed clan and his name is Weed. All right, there's a lot of weed going on with you, dude. Um, <laughs> there's a uh, all right, all right, good. I got through his last stand uh, before he I opened the ability from the leech, and now he comes out of the leech ability, and I'm curving the shots around the corner. Uh, I guess I stop attacking him now because I got something else to deal with. Um, establishing a link over to this guy, and now we're starting. To fire at him. In this case, by the way, we do have the healing module equipped, right? Uh, this was recorded at a different moment where I didn't use uh, the shield breaker, I had the healing. Sometimes it's still good to have it because it just gets you increased resistance when somebody attacks you when you have the right microchips on your drone. Uh, but uh, overall, here, I'm staying out of his range. See, he wants to jump on me with his 350 meters range, and I just stayed out of it. Here, now let me show you the prob problem with it establishing the link, okay? See, um, here. I want to establish the link, and it didn't work. Somehow, I don't know, it didn't work. Look, let me just show this. I fail four times in a row now. I'm looking at him. I'm looking at him. But the targeting system isn't establishing. Look at this. What is that for a buck? I look at a friendly, but the targeting system doesn't establish the link. So, and now I press the button, but I pressed it too early, and there was no link established, so now I aborted the link ability. Recharge the six seconds, and then I want to establish the link again. Here we go, I'm aiming at my at my buddy down below. I trigger my ability, but he enters stealth. So again, the link is not established. I notice that, I abort the ability another time. I am waiting for the ability to become ready again, now it is ready, I want to start the ability link. He goes into stealth exactly in the same moment again. And for the third time in a row, I was fail I failed to establish the link. Now, fourth attempt is a charm, right? Fourth attempt, I mean, yeah, come on. Here, he's at 299, I can start my ability. Oh no, he walks out of 300 meters, and the ability link only has 300 meters range. Fourth ability try. Un unsuccessful establishing a single link to somebody. Now, finally, I was able to get a link down to, to, to a dude that was below me because he didn't have stealth, he wasn't running out of range, and I was actually able to finally get a freaking link established. Holy smokes, that took a long time. Um, the thing is, if you fail on the link, you can end the ability and just wait six seconds and then restart it again. But uh, overall, it's just nuts that you basically have, uh, have these many attempts often with... Uh, not being able to target friendlies for a positive effect. Why can't you do this? Here again, it happened again, it's unbelievable. Right? When was it happen? Hold on here, I pressed the button. But why did it fail this time? Look. Hold on, okay. Oh yeah, I, he was at 300 meters range when I pressed the button. So it, it counted as out of range. So again, I failed at establishing a link. It, it's just, it's just nuts. I just, I just can't make it happen. Here we go. Finally, link is established and we're going for it. Jeez. Holy smokes, that is quite, that takes a long time. So let's get that hockey boy before he gets into the next, um, next flight. Insane how long his phase shift lasted, by the way. I think he has got the improved phase shift, extra long duration on it. We are being attacked now and I ch started the link the chain over to somebody, getting inside his shield, maximum resistance activated, maximum damage output also, and he's going down insanely fast. Somehow he didn't have any healing whatsoever, he didn't have any instant heal fix on the drone, he didn't seem to be healing with the active module, he seemed to have no healing at all, so he went down super quick, which is very uh, unusual for a revenant, because the revenant's work is, is done by having these instant heal fixes and by having the healing module, right? This guy is down to last stand. Hopefully, you can drop him before he goes into another uh, Nightingale flight. Can we? Ah, oh, he's face shifting now. Come on, he's making it really difficult. Ah, oh, I got him though. Or someone did. Nice. All right, so time for the next chain. Here we go. We have an Orochi in front of us. And I have the chain finally established to an Orochi. I can't believe it. I actually managed to make it happen. I actually got a chain link active. Uh, by the way, I think, like, look, like, 15 seconds durability, and then you only have a, a little 7 seconds recharge on the ability. That is too little ability duration, if you ask me. Uh, by the way, also something you should probably know, here, I failed again at doing the link. Uh, another thing you need to know is, uh, this ability does not break an active effect, right? The legendary pilot, Poncho, and, uh, 
Mizaki or what the name was, it doesn't actually break the negative effects. So when you are suppressed and you activate your ability, you will still have to wait out the entire ability use uh, or ability to, uh, the, the negative effect duration. That's what you're going to have to work, uh, wait out. Only the new effects triggered after you activated the ability will actually uh, prevent the negative effects from happening. But if you have been suppressed before you activated the ability, you will still have to wait out the suppression. Interesting side fact, I, I guess, right? So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Check out that giveaway if you haven't yet. And uh, yeah, see you around in the next video. Have a good one. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.